No! Discriminated avoidance, folks. That's what's up on the, the agenda for this video. It's just a bunch of invisibles. I think we're running out of rum. Uh, <laughs> that actually fits into the example. If I go home and guess what? There's no, uh, there's no rum in the bottle, then we're going to discriminate that we need to avoid something, such as the rest of my family. No, uh, I'm sorry, that's a bad joke. <laughs> I don't even know if it works. So discriminated... <laughs> Sometimes we do these things on the fly and I don't really know if the example works, but we'll let it slide for now. So discriminated avoidance is when uh, there's a signal, a dis obviously some sort of SD, right? So an SD that signals that a negative reinforcing is going to be, a negative reinforcer is available for a particular behavior. Um, so you can signal that, um, uh, oh, oh, here's a good one, um, discriminated avoidance. So you could, uh, if there's a sign that says photo and speed is photo and enforce, enforced. <laughs> I don't know what an enhorse is, but sounds weird. Um, so speed is photo enforced, right? Or your speed is whatever. Um, so that's a sign. It's discriminated and you're going to avoid the ticket. How? By driving the speed limit. Okay. So the idea is, is that you're avoiding something uh, and then that, uh, or avoiding the loss of money, I guess is really what it is. Uh, but anyway, so you're avoiding something and there's a signal for that. So it's discriminated and you learn under certain conditions um, that this is not something you want to engage in. The reinforcer is available for failing to do something or avoiding something or escape. Escaping works too. But anyway, discriminated avoidance. Learning when to avoid something using a signal.